Welcome to this video, Library Services for International Students and the English Language Program. My name is Michael Dudley, and I'm the Accessibility, International, and Extended Services Librarian. The library is located on the fourth and fifth floors of Centennial Hall, with the entrance being on the fourth floor. On our homepage, you will find a number of features designed to allow you quick access to assistance and information. You will notice on the bottom right hand side of the screen that there is a chat button. This is staffed Monday to Friday 9 to 4 30. You will also see on the left hand side there is a help with research button which will lead you to contact options for speaking with a librarian as well as our research guides. On the home page, we have the opportunity to search for books and articles and other media in the main search bar, but we can also search in specific databases. We can look up the names or keywords of the titles of scholarly journals, and we can also search in the research guides that have been created by the librarians. From the home page under Use the Library, there is an entire page dedicated to information for international students, what to expect from academic libraries in Canada, as well as information on academic integrity and how to get further assistance. The library at the University of Winnipeg provides access to hundreds of thousands of print books, as well as ebooks, access to course reserve material set aside by your instructors, as well as electronic databases that give access to the ebooks, to electronic encyclopedias, to newspapers, as well as primary sources, and of course, peer reviewed academic scholarly articles published in academic journals. On the fourth floor of the library is the main circulation area, as well as reference, where you will find encyclopedias, dictionaries, and atlases. There are also group study rooms, as well as a quiet study room. On the fifth floor is the main circulating collection, as well as print journals, the archives, and study spaces up on mezzanine levels. Here is a map of the fifth floor of the library, which is available on our website, and also as a handout at the reference desk. Services include interlibrary loan, or the ability to get articles or books brought in from other libraries. This service is not available to English language program students, however. There's also a pickup service where we will pull a book or books from the shelf and set it aside in the large red vending machine by the escalators on the main floor. There's also research or reference assistance at the reference desk and the circulation desk where staff will assist you in finding articles and books. We can also assist you over chat or over email. We will also try to meet accessibility needs by obtaining accessible format copies of print books in our collection for persons with print disabilities. Where to start doing research? You can try keyword searches in the catalog but then look in the record of the individual book for what the subject headings are as assigned by the Library of Congress. For print books, the catalog entry will also indicate the call numbers where the book is located on the shelf. The catalog will also allow you to create saved lists of the books and articles that you have found. If you give this list a name, that list will be there tomorrow or several months from now. Now let's look closer at the research guides that are available from the home page. The research guides are designed for quick access to recommended key terms to use in the catalog, how to find books, recommended digital encyclopedias, electronic databases to give access to scholarly journals, as well as external websites. Some of the research guides of particular interest to international students and students in the English language program may be found under English, and these include the English as an additional language 
Research Guide, and the Comparative and International Literature Guide. In the English as an Additional Language Guide, you will find my contact information, as well as a glossary of terms used in the library, including abstracts, citations, and so on. There's also a guide to avoiding plagiarism or accusations of academic misconduct. And that is by putting things in your own words and making sure that you are citing your sources. The library also has a collection of Penguin and Pearson easy readers. And these are adaptations of classic works of English literature, as well as biographies or popular films, and that they are available at increasingly difficult reading levels from level one to level six. The Comparative and International Literature Research Guide is designed to support research and recreational reading by providing easy access to novels and poetry from around the world. So it's easy to find the call numbers and the subject headings if you wish to find readings from your home country or other international literatures that interest you. And again, all of these are available under the research guides from the homepage. The library also has a YouTube channel with many helpful videos on how to search, how to cite your sources, and how to understand what is meant by peer-reviewed academic literature. One of our most recently added videos is accessibility and multi-language features in Microsoft Office, which explains how to access tools such as the ability to dictate your documents or to have your documents or web pages read to you in other languages or in accented English. I hope this video has been useful for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact Michael Dudley at m.dudley at uwinnipeg.ca. Thank you very much for listening.